All right, you see, you watch Catherine Pugh declare victory tonight. The Associated Press is, is now confirmed that. Still waiting to hear, though, from Sheila Dixon at this point. We're going to go now to Mallory Safaste. She is with Kathy Shalega, born in Baltimore, went to Towson. There you go. And she's with the winning Republican nominee right now. There she is. Mallory. <laughs> If you see a two-shot. Yes, we're at the election night party for Congressman Andy Harris and Delegate Kathy Shalega. She is the projected winner. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Just really honored to have been the victorious this evening. Grateful for all the voters that went out and supported me. And so you're going to be against Congressman Chris Van Hollen, and it's it's typically not going to be a you know easy challenge. You know, in a state where it's been three decades um, since uh, Maryland has elected a Republican senator, how do you plan to convince those voters to? go with you? Well, voters in the last statewide election chose Larry Hogan, a Republican, a businessman. And since he's taken office, Maryland really has started to change and it's moving the right direction. So I feel well, I feel pretty good that Marylanders will look at a businesswoman like myself and say, if we want to change Washington, let's put a businesswoman, wife, mom, grandma, small business owner. That's what we need in Washington if we're really going to turn that place around. All right. Thank you so much. Congratulations again. Thank you. Thanks so much. All right. For now, reporting live at BWI Marriott, Mallory Spaste, ABC2 News.